how can you make information presented in a map accessible? Okay, so this is tricky. Um, huh. There are actually specific exemptions for maps, partly because the people responsible know it is such a nightmare. Um, you clearly can't, you can't do like an alternative text in a, in a traditional way, right? You can't um, just describe everything in a map because you can't frame it with enough detail to not lose information. So generally what it ends up getting converted to is directions where that's possible. Um, so if, if, for example, if you were trying to say something like, um, how to find our, our office, you might say it's office road or uh, easily accessed from the train station, that kind of thing. Um, but it's, it's not actually considered realistic to present a like for like experience with a full blown map because simply put, you cannot provide that density of information in the same way. It, it, it just, it can't be done any more than you could. For example, this QR code on the left here, you could show someone that image, but you simply couldn't describe it in a way that would be meaningful. So there are exemptions for that. And um, I would I would aim for directions um, and plain text equivalent, but that's that's basically it. Is it possible to make a flow chart accessible? Well, it kind of depends on the flow chart. Uh, I would imagine if I Google for flow chart, pretty sure there'll be some, uh, yeah, so, if you could find, there we go, simple. <laughs> if I got something like this, I don't know what this is, there you go. That, you could probably explain that in a couple of sentences, wouldn't be a problem. Um, but I can imagine you could easily find some complex ones that would be horrendous. And yeah, there you go, good luck with that one, right? Um, in fact, the example of that flowchart is almost to make the point that it's awful. <laughs> um, so you, if you had all text for this, it would probably be insanely complicated flowchart that no one could understand because yeah, you couldn't really do much else with it. So um, it's always difficult, right? Like in a way, like, for example, we have uh, captions are designed to make video content accessible. And if you're if you're like hard of hearing and you w watch the TV, captions are amazing because they make content available to you. That otherwise, you would miss. But they don't obviously convey every last, you know, uh, aspect of the voice of the actors and, and actresses and so on they'll they'll lose something but there's enough there that you can use it so i guess if a flow chart is doing something like telling you um let's think of a useful flow chart um do i need to um apply for a visa for something something um and that information is only in an image like this that's probably a bigger problem anyway you probably should find a way to describe it so that it, it isn't infographics is kind of the same answer really i mean the the thing is what you're trying to do is avoid just think of it as avoiding discrimination is there information that you have presented in an infographic that you simply couldn't get any other way right so the infographic might contain key information like this is our response rate on this or this is the number of people who have been hospitalized from this or whatever and if you've got that information and it's only in an image well then you are denying accessibility but you, you don't have to describe the infographic as there is a box in the left and it has an arrow pointing to a box on the right. You just have to include the key information in, say, a text form. And that holds for any kind of multimedia. Um, we have large local planning docs, which include very detailed maps, moving PDFs to HTML, but struggling with this one. Again, it's, it's basically the same thing. You, a, a, a map cannot be, it is specifically excluded. You can't do a flawless copy. You can't, but you you convey the information as best as you can in, in a text form. Um, and if you can't, then you literally just explain that. Um, but usually saying something like your address and maybe saying it's opposite the river or next to the fire station or whatever, that kind of thing is useful. But that's, that's about as far as you can go. 